Hey, this is Wolf here from I'm Your Train, and today I'm going to show you how to make magic mushrooms for your LARP group. Okay, maybe they're not magic mushrooms, but they're definitely fantasy mushrooms with the red and the white and the big spots. For this project, we're going to need a heat gun, some paint, a hot glue gun, some EVA floor tile, a bowl which is round in the top, this is just a mixing bowl that I bought from Spotlight here in Australia. Some thin craft foam, scissors, a knife, and some artificial grass. Now I've pre-cut the artificial grass, so you don't have to watch me do that. I've also pre-cut this, and this is slightly bigger than the bowl, and I just used a paint tin to cut it out. Because no one wants to watch me cut foam all day. First step is grab your piece of artificial grass and a piece of timber. This is a pre-cut piece from Bunnings. And a hot glue gun. Glue it on. Now hopefully the hot glue gun is actually going to work today because, you know, hot glue guns and I get along oh so well. Normally it's all about the burn. Because the one defining factor of hot glue is it's hot and it's sticky. Funny that. Okay, so going all of this on. You only really have to glue around the edges, and you'll see why as I put the rest of it together. Now, in addition to this circle, I've cut two long thin pieces, and these will be the stalk of the mushroom. So, glue those together. And you know the hot glue is actually hot when the foam is smoking from it. Please don't burn yourself with the hot glue, that's my job. Okay. Now this looks pretty ugly as it is. There's a couple of ways we can make it nice and smooth. We can either grab a Dremel and file down the sides or use a belt sander. Or we can cheat and use some electrical tape and pull it until it's round. The stalk, that is. And as you can see, as I'm winding the electrical tape around it, it's becoming a lot less square and more rounded. You will get a little bit of texture this way, but it is solvable. It also stiffens up the foam so your mushrooms don't fall over when it's on a nice hot sunny day for LARP. You guys do get hot days, don't you, for those of you who are not in Australia? Here it's mid-autumn and it's still 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that's shaped the stalk quite nicely. Cut off. Now, in the middle, on my circle, I cut across so I can open it up like this. Once it's open, I grab the hot glue gun and fill it up with hot glue. and then just press down the sides until they look about right. You can always come back later and trim these off. Okay, so Wolf, you ask, how do you make something like this dome to be a mushroom? Well, we have a heat gun here and our dish. What I like to do is pre-bend it just a little bit to start with. And then I grab the heat gun. These things are hot. You will burn yourself if you're not careful with them. So, heating up the foam, nice and hot. Heat both sides to make it soft. Then when it's soft, press it into your bowl. Now if it's hard to press in and you haven't got it hot enough, and once it's in your bowl, 
Just give it a little bit more heat. And find something that's not your fingers to push it down with. I'm using the end of this knife. So this will take a couple of minutes to cool. While it's cooling, I'm going to start cutting out the spots for the mushrooms. That is what the craft foam is for. Now, all I'm using here is a piece of aluminium pipe and it's just to mark the holes. You can mark these any way you like. You could put a coin on there. You could get a big hole punch. There's many ways. But all I'm doing is marking the circles so they're all about the same size and then I'm going to cut them out with scissors and then glue them to the mushroom because what's a magic mushroom without spots? Boring. That's what it is. See everybody? I'm talented enough to hold both sides of the conversation all on my own. So, I have some circles marked. And now to cut them out, which is all sorts of tedious. So we might take a short break and I'll be back when I've got a more cut. Welcome back to this project. Now I said earlier that we'd hide this tape. The easiest way to do that is I've mixed up a little bit of paint and added just a spoonful of latex to it to make it a bit more flexible. You don't need the latex. I just like using it because I know my props get kicked around and fallen on and all sorts of terrible things that LARP but they make the LARP better so it's acceptable so what I'm doing here is just brushing on a quick layer of the paint to use instead of glue what am I going to glue on you ask? just some tissues nice simple tissues Stick them onto the stalk and wrap it around a couple of times and you no longer can see the electrical tape marks which after all doesn't look very mushroomy the electrical tape. Okay. Once you've got it on some more paint and it'll soak through the tissue and glue it all down together. Okay this mushroom is now a carnivorous plant for a fly has joined us and will forevermore be part of this mushroom. So depending on how skilled you are with the tissue paper and the brush, you can get some very, very nice mushroom texture, or you can just be average like this one is. Now while I'm only doing one mushroom to a base, there's nothing to stop you putting multiple mushrooms on the one base, or maybe some other fungi, or anything else you like to decorate the base up. I've seen some very nice spaces with just a little bit of sawdust around the bottom of the mushroom to look like dirt. I'm adding a second layer of tissue paper here, or tissue, it's not tissue paper, just to help bulk out the stalk just a little bit more. Now this is starting to look a whole lot more fungus like than the electrical wrapped foam ever did. Now you can add as many layers on this as you like, but I think just two tissues has been enough to make this look more organic. Our next step is to grab the hot glue gun and put a nice 
large dab of glue on the top of this. You can see it here smoking away. Make sure it covers the whole stalk properly. Because the next step is grabbing out of your dish your nice rounded mushroom. And working out which angle you want it on. This one's going to be pretty much straight up and down. And press it down onto the hot glue. Now we're going to give this a couple of seconds to cool down enough to stick. And while it's thinking about doing that, all the little circles that I cut out earlier, I'm going to apply a bit of hot glue to. Bit of hot glue to, come on, glue. There we are. And stick them on. Now this is the part where I'm probably going to burn myself, so prepare to laugh at me. Uh, the reason we use 3D foam for the spots instead of just painting them on is it gives a much better texture and appearance. You could always just paint them on without any problems. But they just don't look quite the same. Now the trick to cutting these spots out is cut more than you think you're going to need and then scatter them on until you like the way they look and hopefully you don't have to stop to cut more. So this is a pretty funky looking mushroom at the moment, black with green spots. Actually, it brings to mind a Terry Pratchett quote, which is, all fungi are edible. Some fungi are only edible once. Personally, I don't think you should eat this even once. You know how I said to cut more spots than you think you're going to need? Well, I failed to do that. I think I'm going to need to cut even more. And when you hop out, that'll be hot. When you're gluing them on, you only need a spot in the middle of them because when you paint them on, the paint will seal the edges down. I think it's time for me to buy a new hot glue gun. This one's getting a little bit temperamental. Now I think I'm going to get away without having to cut more spots, but only just. Right, that's all the spots on. I can now unplug this thing and say I've only burnt myself once with the hot glue gun for this project. Out of all the tools in my workshop, this is the one that burns me the most. Okay, now that we've got it to this stage, you'll find all sorts of little spider webs on it from the hot glue. Just go and pull those off wherever you can. Okay, that seems to be most of them. Now with the paint, we're going to slap some nice thin coats, probably two or three, under this. And once I've got it fully painted with this colour, I'm going to add some red to my paint and paint the mushroom itself. So see you guys back here in probably 10 minutes when I've finished painting all of this. Now that the mushrooms received a couple of coats of paint, it looks a lot more like these other ones and ready to join the mushroom army to take over the world. No wait, that's the other show. Um, I'm going to keep playing with this and add a few more coats of paint, but basically it's finished. And as you can see, it's nice and quick and relatively rigid. I mean, these things here. 
I'm not going to say they're indestructible, but they're going to hold up to at least a little bit of abuse at your last game. So I hope you found this project interesting, and I'll see you next week with another build here on Armoury Terrain.